Today we're asking the question, is there only one way to do RNA-seq library prep? Milan, I really enjoyed your talk today. Thank you. Can you share with our audience some of the highlights? Sure, you know, uh, we got an opportunity today to really talk about our work in using ion sequencing for the study of triple negative breast cancer. And this is a aggressive form of breast cancer. It makes about 15% of all uh, breast cancer cases, but is one that unfortunately hasn't benefited from the advances and targeted therapies we see with other types of breast cancer. And so we've been excited about applying uh, next generation sequencing and ion sequencing to better understand how we can detect this cancer better, how we can use it for understanding the biology, pushing for drug development, understanding a variety of aspects that we can use for clinical research. And one of the uh, things that we got to talk to you about today is the use of AmpliSeq transcriptome, a new way of doing library prep that we don't need to go through the laborious process of uh, ribodepletion and, and a variety of elongated library, but be able to do a quick um, single tube assay. And this is where we've seen the real application of this is primarily in our experiments where maybe traditionally we would have done a multiple qPCR assay or a tilde, but now can just quickly do this on a, on a sequencing based platform. Well, you mentioned the molecular characterization. Sure. And triple negative breast cancer being known for what it's not. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to dig into it, what it from is. the RNA-seq level to yeah, find out what it is. It is, it is. And that's really been the crux of a lot of our research is really trying to finally move away from calling it something negative and calling it something positive and producing a positive effect. So a lot of our RNA-seq research has really been in that fact, can we develop a transcriptional marker, a transcriptional signature of what this cancer is and be able to really uh, guide our research to cho choosing the right therapies. And I know you talked a little bit about the uh, use of the proper controls, and yeah. I know you're big on that. Yes. Can you elaborate on it? Yeah, so you know, it's interesting. Um, the current controls used in many breast cancer studies are things that we really wouldn't be normal. Uh, uh, one of the most popular ones is what we call adjacent to normal tissue. This is adjacent normal uh, two centimeters away from the primary tumor. That really isn't very normal. It's uh, actually, when we look at the expression data, it's highly influenced by what the tumor releases in terms of cytokines and factors. The other common normal, probably not really well known, is, uh, is what we call reduction mammoplasties or uh, uh, tissue taken from breast reductions. And interestingly, uh, that is primarily adipose tissue. It is not epithelial origin, and the epithelial origin is where uh, epithelial cells are where breast cancer comes from. So this use of microdissected normal breast tissue from healthy donors um, from our Coma Tissue Bank we have found to be very, very helpful. And we think it's really the optimal control for these cancer studies. Yeah. And so now that you've got the proper controls, mm -hmm. I know you made this comment regarding a lot of people aren't doing right. proper controls right. to measure effects. What did you find then in terms of using uh, sort of AmpliSeq transcriptome? Oh my goodness. Uh, we found a lot. Uh, you know, one, I think what we've begun to find, uh, actually in a paper we just recently published, mm. first of all, we found that the targets that people thought were the right targets to use in triple negative breast cancer are probably not. Because a lot of those targets were, were really identified by comparing triple negative breast cancers to other subtypes of breast cancers, like ER positive or HER2 disease, and not to normal tissue. But when you compare to normal tissue, you see actually a nice congruence of, both, of clinical trial outcomes with uh, the expression. This is something we published in Breast Cancer Research and Treatment in January. So what are we finding further? I think what we're uh, really excited about is what we're finding that's positive. And I think we've, uh, without going into too much detail, is really finding, I think, the right pathways and the right drug combinations, and we're gonna hope for the best. So Very exciting. Great. Thank you for a great talk Thank today. you so much, I appreciate it.